What is this object I found at my work which is a historical 18th century home and museum in the USA? Sorry for the blurry picture, but I can't go back and get another just yet. It's a hand-sized wood paddle with holes and fabric covering them. The house was lived in up until the 60s and is currently staged as it would have looked in the mid-1800s. Someone here mentioned an apple butter stirrer, but I was failing to see how that would work. Does anyone know what this is? It's a loading block for a muzzleloader. You push your patched balls into the holes to carry them and push them through the block into the barrel. Kind of an old-timey speed loader. There's a lot of debate about when these came into common use, with little if any evidence for their use before the 19th century. So it may not be the most historically authentic item in an 18th century site. My husband and I found this odd metal ball in the jungles of Guam. It's about 3 pounds and 2 inches in diameter. We had knowledge of World War II ordnance, but this thing stumped us. Any idea what this could be? It's an American sub-munition bomblet, designed for use in warheads as a chemical cluster munition during the Vietnam War in 1964. They can be dropped by an aircraft or launched in rockets or missiles from the ground or sea. They typically open in the air dispersing multiple sub-munitions or bomblets over a white area. The vanes created a spin which armed the impact fuse. This spin-to-arm type fuse required between 1,000 and 2,000 rotations per minute to arm, which made handling the bomblets simpler because they were insensitive to normal movements. Many submunitions failed to explode on initial impact, leaving duds that can indiscriminately injure and kill like landmines for years until they are cleared and destroyed. Since that's an unexploded ordinance I highly suggest calling the police. I bought this at an estate sale, the owner wasn't there so I couldn't ask him what it was. It looked really cool. It's made of wood with a brass latch and measures 16 inches tall and 5 inches wide. Any idea what this could be? It's an 18th century Korean scroll box with the Chinese text of the Zisi Tongjian, a famous history of China. It's not surprising to see Chinese characters in Korean works as they shared a writing system for a long time until Hangul was invented by King Sejong in the 15th century. Japanese was also used in Korea during periods of Japanese occupation. What is this rotating electric machine? I found this at work and can't figure out what it is used for. The workplace is a second-hand shop in the Netherlands. People bring their stuff to us and we resell them. There are numbers on the top which might be used for metrics. The first thing I think of is a machine for textiles, but that's a wild guess. Any suggestions? It's an Ericsson 500 selector, an automatic line selector for telephone exchanges, that can access up to 500 telephone lines. The first type of this switch was built in Rotterdam in the Netherlands in 1923. The Telephone Museum in Rotterdam still has a system in operation. In an exchange, you will find this selector in stacks. Each stack can hold up to 70 selectors. This was gradually replaced by the coordinate selector in the early 1950s. What is this wooden seat-like thing my friend found in a thrift store? Pulling the handle would cause the seat to tilt in the opposite direction to the handle, so anything sitting there would fall off. There's a hinge down at the bottom of the seat post, and there's no way the handle can jack up the seat, because it's fixed at the bottom on that hinge point, so instead the seat would tilt forward. Does anyone have an idea? After further research, it appears that this is a wagon jack that has been converted into a small table or chair. What is this thing I found while metal detecting in Norway? I found it on a farm believed to be from the 1800s. It's made of metal and looks like a button of some kind. Any ideas? That is a tutulus button from the Late Bronze Age, 1500 to 1100 BC, so roughly around 3100 years old. They are an ornament usually in the form of a button, which was used to decorate women's clothing and belts or horse belts. Several golden tutulus were part of the so-called King Priam's treasure, which Heinrich Schliemann, an amateur German archaeologist discovered in Troy in the 1870s. 
What is this brass object with a screw off chimney and some holes in the cap? The body is hollow with some etchings on it. My dad gave this to me with no explanation, and I'm wondering what it is, and where it's from. Possibly a salt shaker or an incense burner. Any ideas? It's a rose water sprinkler from 1900 to the 1940s. It originated in Persia but became popular in India and was used on special occasions like weddings and other special events. The neck unscrews and gets filled with scented rose water. The host welcomes the guests by offering to pour a little in their hands, which they rinse their hands and apply on their faces, or by holding it up and start flicking it to the guests. What is this brown wooden thing I found in an antique shop, about two and a half feet long, with a leather back that is eroding and held in place with studs, and there are no identifying marks of a maker. It looks like it wants to hang on a wall, and I feel like it might be candle related in some way. I have searched numerous wooden objects from candle holders to candle boxes and related wording with no results. Any idea what it is? It's a strop for sharpening straight razors from the 19th century. The box is to hold the sharpening or lubricating paste. It could also be where you keep the razor when folded up, or the shaving soap and brush. My granddad had one in the bathroom. Here's a similar item on eBay that doesn't mount to a wall, but serves as a wooden box for holding a razor and blades with a strop mounted to the top. What is this silver spoon with a top part? I saw this listed on Facebook Marketplace in Portugal, Lisbon area. The description just says it's made out of silver. I googled mustache spoon, but all those that came up have an opening on the side instead of the end. What kind of a spoon is this? It's a medicine spoon from 1701 to 1900. This spoon was designed to help give patients their medicine more easily, and may also have been used for feeding. The spoon is half covered to prevent liquid from spilling out while it is being poured into the mouth through the end hole. It may also have helped by preventing the patient from getting too close a look at any medicine they were about to take. And it was intended to be used for children. What is this thing I found in one of the boxes of my dad's old belongings? It's a wooden thing that is stored like this, but screws together. There's a hole that goes through the whole object, and it has an end like a trumpet. My family used to run a pharmacy, and this may be from anywhere between the 1920s to 1960s. It has MAW written on what I assume is the base. We have found a lot of old devices for inhaling medication, so I'm wondering if maybe it's also for that purpose, but it doesn't look like any of the others. I'd be really interested to know what this is. Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.